The Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission held its introductory meeting as the nation contemplates the one-year anniversary of the peak of the Wall Street economic collapse. The Commission's chairman is Phil Angelides, former California State Treasurer and Director of the Apollo Alliance. He says that the Commission's primary responsibility is to investigate the causes of the financial crisis and advise Congress as it crafts remedies to prevent a future economic catastrophe. Facts and evidence. Our primary charge is to examine the facts and the evidence and to uh, uh, undertake for the American people an unbiased accounting of what has occurred that led us to the point we are. And that's fundamentally important to have on the record to help guide policy decisions, to help inform the public at large as well as future generations of Americans about what occurred here. Now, we are not charged with making recommendations, but we're free to do so. My personal view is we have to do job one first, which is stick to the facts. And I believe if we do that, stick to the evidence, that knows no party now. The vice chairman is former Republican Congressman Bill Thomas, who was chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee during most of the Bush administration. In his new role, he promises to work with Angelides to reach consensus on committee findings. He said the committee will be able to adjust this work so they could give timely advice as legislation moves through Congress. The dialogue that we've opened up with the committees of Congress gives me a very high level of comfort that we can have communications of a positive nature and that perhaps some timelines could chuck a The tank member commission spans the ideological spectrum, and some of the potential tension could be seen in some of the opening statements. Brooks Lee Bourne, former chairman of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission under President Clinton, offered a pointed indictment of the anti-regulatory mindset that set up the economic crisis. Experience has now clearly shown that financial markets are not self-regulatory. Market participants understandably pursue their own self-interest and cannot be relied upon to protect the public interest. As we have now witnessed, without appropriate rules in place and government oversight and enforcement, activities in the market can harm the economy as a whole and can cause widespread losses of jobs, homes, savings, and businesses. The erroneous belief in the effectiveness of self-regulation has played a major role in bringing our economy to its knees and has cost the American taxpayers trillions of dollars. It is now critically important to identify and examine the regulatory gaps and failures so that they may be eliminated and so that our regulatory financial structure Peter J. Wallison, a scholar at the American Enterprise Institute, is a staunch critic of government regulation generally, and particularly of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the quasi-governmental entities that fuel most of the mortgage market. The number and percentage of weak mortgage loans on the balance sheet, balance sheets of banks and other financial institutions, is an unprecedented situation in this country. In all other housing bubbles in the past, we have never had anything like it. Why do so many, why are there so many subprime and alt A mortgages in our housing finance system? Was it the result of government policy, or something else, or a combination of factors? What were the changes in the financial system that led this time to the creation and distribution of these toxic loans? Angelides is confident the committee won't get mired in the pitch ideological battle that will take place between the supporters of progressive reform and opponents. As commission members, we've been working very hard, so I wanted to say that uh, we're all committed to making sure that we come to unanimity on how we approach this, and we're doing very well in that regard. But I, I think there's a, uh, a broad
broad sense of this commission that we're not just going to go away, be gone for 15 months, and December 15th of 2010 issue a report. We will be issuing interim reports, work product, information for policymakers and the American public as we go. And it is our hope to do that in a way that provides the best information, the best analysis for policymakers. So we've already met in the last few days uh, and spoken with uh, the chairs and, and ranking members of the uh, Senate Banking Committee as well as the House Financial Services Commission. And so we hope that we can provide information as we go in a way that's timely. If you have tips you want the Commission to investigate or issues that the Commission should pursue, uh, a coalition of progressive groups have set up a tip line. Call 1-888-234-1763 or go to the web to tellthecommission.com. This is Isaiah J. Poole, ourfuture.org.